Hey, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Mona Lisa. Um, I am recording some videos for you guys while I'm on vacation. So this is a pre-recorded video and not a stream. Um, and let's just get right into it. Okay, so, uh, got my beach Mona outfit. I had, uh, got this outfit for level 69, uh, but we are already level 70. <laughs> that I wanted to do like a cute little a uh, beach beach look and uh, the bottoms were really really small and in the cutscenes I was like I don't think I want to wear the bottom in the cutscene so uh, basically the glasses the top and the and the shoes are from the mog station and the pants I just got them off of <laughs> probably some dungeon or something but let us go ahead and get in um, we are in the um, Heaven's Wards patch notes right now, or patch quest, not notes, and we're about to meet a new character, it seems. So, um, also, this since we are in Heaven's Ward, these, this outfit's gonna look ridiculous once we get back into Ishgard. It is what it is, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, this area is so cool. Small. <laughs> Look at her run. I'm terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Oh. Pray, allow me to introduce Kral, who has recently come from Kral. the Shalian motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Oh, please, think nothing of it. A trip to Eorzea was long overdue. You must be the warrior of light. I am. Yes, Thanks. you certainly do look the part. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, miss. Thanks. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levy Yur himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill more too in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? Oh my god. It's a roast. <laughs> we, um... <clears throat> Miss Kryle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. It was no small task keeping him out of trouble, believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studium. Him and his sister, 11-year-old prodigies. Oh, okay. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What is it he said again? <laughs> Thank you, Kryle. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> For what? I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? <laughs> Look, it looks evil. I love um. it. Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. <laughs> a bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. Valid. <laughs> I love the teasing, that's so cute. <laughs> Right, on to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing scions. I gather you have new information to share with us. A new approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Mm. Then what are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. 
If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand. Okay. We're then going back to Master Matoya. I think it best that you explain your plan to her in person. Sounds good. Let's go. It's been so long since I last did it. My like, I kind of remember some stuff, but uh, I remember I used to pronounce uh, Kryle's name like Krilly. So if I accidentally say Krilly, <laughs> please uh, just know I'm talking about the same person. Kryle, Krilly. Ooh, to remember. It's gonna be tough to remember because I feel like I've been calling her Krilly for some reason. I'm not sure why, but. In general, since it has been a while, um, I, I think I remember what happened, um, what happens here, but it's a little, it's all a little fuzzy, because I, I got the game doing Endwalker, which was in 2021, probably. So... My memory isn't the best. I don't actually. I remember some things. I remember. I don't remember everything. And since I only ever got up to Stormblood, <laughs> Stormblood felt very long. So I, I, I think I remember Stormblood the most. Okay, here we go. Cry, I'll cry, I'll cry. Remember that? Okay. You did say we were headed for a cave, did you not? Because I certainly don't see a cave nearby. Is Master Matoya meeting us on the way or something? Well, actually, we have a... There's a little portal. Or not portal, we move the rock itself. I've heard many story, stories of Master Matoya. Some quite flattering, others less so. Rest assured, they are all true. This way, and I have care, and have care where you tread. Sounds good. Let us go. Also, look at my, my chocobo. Since the last stream, now she is beautiful and purple. And I got some new old uh, gear. Since I am now, what is it called? Like, second flame lieutenant? Something like that. I have to double check. I don't know where to look, actually. Over here. Yeah, second flame lieutenant. So. On the side, I've been leveling up different things. Also, the earring has got me to level 70 with the worst one happened sword patch quest. <laughs> oh my god. I did pick up sage as well, but um, it's a little confusing. So I'm going to have to practice a bit more. We might do some um, either in this video or the next one. I love the music in this area. Oh, is that trouble I smell? Or did you forget to wipe your boots on the way in? <laughs> Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. Ever so quick-witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. <laughs> Well, out with it then. What do you want? Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Kryle, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our Order's headquarters, and the Isle itself, were obliterated by a magic of immense power. That's so crazy. I to thank for my own preservation. What happened? Kryle, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. Of course? Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn gotcha. and interpreting her will. 
Oh, so all those people have the echo. It was echo. The of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. Was that why they were targeted no then? Idea. If she's the only one who survived. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand. But precautions had to be taken. Yes, yes, that's all well and good, but you still haven't told me why you're here. <laughs> the students of Baldessian are gone, and there is naught I can do to change that. But the science of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light, one you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. <laughs> oh, wait here. Long did I ponder the nature of this crystal and its familiar radiance. But never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. I thought it was like a, a crystal the orb or ball. Of an calamity, souls blessed with the power of the echo invariably appear. To aid these her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. But as her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those oh, of this age. Oh, okay. You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure. As are the risks inherent in its use. Hmm. So I wonder, does Master Matoya also no have the echo? Of the echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size, excepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul, their intent, their very essence, even, the traces of which serve to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off and follow the remaining trail to Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Well, the poor sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight. You may do with it what you will. Did I miss something? <laughs> I don't know why they were having that funny little reaction. It's cute though. Then let us begin. Sounds good. Let's find Dankrid. I oh, thought so cool. From the Black Shroud, the trail continues to the north and west, towards a mountain, the foot of Som Arl. Hmm. It was a near thing, but he was not deposited within the rock. I think. Oof. Okay. Som Arl? The hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. Sounds good. Let's go find Dankred. Some all. Uh, that's where the, the little beetle people. Varth or something like that. Vath. In fact, we probably just teleport there. Also near the dragons. Um, let's see it. 
Ah, nichts trollen. Oh, we have to get outside first. Oh no, wait, I could have teleported. I don't know why. <laughs> because that's in a different place. Yeah. I don't know why, the, sometimes the map confuses me, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll get used to it eventually. Alright. Where... Uh, let's take... Not. Oh, they're just right here. Okay. Let's see. Were I to find myself in an unfamiliar wilderness, my first instinct would be to seek out signs of civilization. Ordinarily, perhaps, but in his wounded state, he may not have wished to risk contact with strangers of unknown alliance. Oh, yet even, yet even had Thancred chosen to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across his trail. Tailfeather doesn't strike me as an isolated outpost, though. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, don't do they not? In which case, we need to provide a more detailed description when we ask, when we question the locals. Fear not, Kryle. Uh, I have already prepared several sketches of Thancred for that very purpose. Oh! Sketches of Thancred. Okay. This this is impressive. You drew him from memory? I want to see it. We're just looking at our palms. A skill acquired some years ago for reasons I no longer remember. I propose we split into two, into two pairs. Yashola and... I will inquire at the outlying encampments while Mona and Kryle question the residents of Tailfeather. Afterwards, we shall regroup near Loth, Asbath, and share our findings. Assuming there are no objections, let us be about it. Sounds good to me! My, he suddenly has matured, hasn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy who practiced drawing for hours to impress the young lady. <laughs> Kryle knows all the tea. Anyway, we best we had best get started. Find me when you finish making your rounds. <laughs> oh my god, Alpha no, he's so so cute. <laughs> my boy. Uh oh, can we <gasps> can we see it? No. Oh, okay. I was hoping to take a look at it. I'm curious. Okay, let's talk to Lupard. Searching for a friend of yours. Let's have a look then. There you go. Hmm, no, ain't seeing them around. Sorry. Okay. Oh, looks like we're gonna talk to this guy, our champ again. What's that you've got there? A sketch? There you go. Hmm, can't say I know the face. You say he's something of a warrior. Hmm, I heard a tale the other day about a Huron vagabond who brought down a bandersnatch by himself and with style. Way they tell it, he was dancing with the beast like it was the bell of the bleeding ball. Sound like your man. It kind of does sound like something Thankard would do. He is a good fighter. Grimald. A hearing man. We're not exactly rare, you know. Could you be more specific? Sorry. Here you go, sir. I 
I did spy this one bloke a while back. Didn't get a good look at his face, but it could have been him. This was beyond the forest, I recall, along the river to the west of Tailfeather. Remember thinking he wasn't much of a hunter. The lad was making no effort to care cover his tracks. See? That, and he was carrying an axe instead of a bow. An axe. Well, I mean, I guess he wouldn't have it, since Yashola came out of the ether without clothes, I'm sure. Some same thing must have happened at Thancred. Oh, look at the little baby! Running, oh my goodness. Finished? In that case, we have learned everything we can here. Let's see what the others have found out. Sounds good to me. Where are we headed? Um... So glad I picked up Blight. Alright, let's meet up. I'm just gonna wait for Yashtola and Alphano. We're having a riveting conversation, oh my gosh. My apologies for our late arrival. We thought it was wise to question as many hunters as we could. I might need to turn off autoplay. Many have made camp in inaccessible locations, ideal for hunting game, not so receiving visitors. Oh, that is true. They were all pretty annoying to get to, all the different camps. <laughs> Nevertheless, our time proved well spent. There have been countless sightings uh, sightings of an exceptionally capable here and hunter with whom no one is familiar. Though none chance to see the man's face, his height and build match Dankert's description, as does his fighting prowess. So you have heard the same tales. Be that as it may, we yet want to we, we, we yet want for conclusive proof. Mayhap this is unrelated, but I heard a curious tale regarding a vast trader. He came to Tailfeather in search of garments fit for a man of refinement, which seemed a rather curious description for one of his kind. Man of refinement sounds like something Thancred would say. <laughs> you are implying that Thancred sent a vath to market in his stead? Why would he not go himself? That's true. Well, if you recall, you yourself emerged from the live stream as naked as your name day. It is a scene I shall never forget. <laughs> no. Is it now? <laughs> oh god, Alpha no. <laughs> well, I was pleased to see you. <laughs> I mean, it was a simple statement of fact. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's just the reason that Thakurd found himself in the same predicament. In any case, if you had dealings with the bath, they should be able to tell us, no? Quite right, Kral. Quite right. <laughs> Alright. We need to stack up on top of him. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? For all we know, Thanker could be waiting for us in Lotas Vat. We must go and see the Vat right away. Come along, everyone. Come along. Silky's <laughs> trying to avoid the conversation we were just having about <laughs> Oh my god. Click, click. Great hunters, we welcome you once more to Lothus Vath. What do you seek this day? 
We seek a man, a man with whom you, we are told you have had certain dealings. Oh, I assume you just handed over the picture. How curious. The hunters tire of godly sport and pursue mortal play prey. <laughs> no, we're not trying to kill him. <laughs> no, no, he's not prey, but a friend long missing. Good, good. He is a friend to the vast as well. One with whom we have traded many times. Truly. And you are quite certain it was this man? There is no doubt. The fleshling clothed in skins came to us from some awe, lost and weak. He offered meat and hides in trade, and in exchange we tended his wounds. He brought us much flesh, so skilled a hunter he was, much flesh. When he asked for garments, we were glad to provide them. And where is he now? Gone to Lot Asnath, not long ago, when he heard the One Mind had summoned our god once more. <sighs> Ravana has returned. Ooh, are we going to fight him again? That was a cool fight. But Ofnir did say that the Na Nath had grown as before. But what could Thancred hope to accomplish by himself? Honored Elder, we thank you for your help. Would that we could repay this kindness ere we depart. But we must hasten to our comrade's side. Go, great hunters, lest the Nath claim him as sacrifice. So Thancred heard about the Ravana being summoned again. And he went off on his own? Oh! Or maybe he, maybe he thought we would be there. I hope he's okay, though. Uh, where do we go? Uh, down here. I haven't been up here. I don't know what is up there, to be honest. I'll definitely need to explore a bit. Alright. Oh, I forgot to change my sage stuff at the top. Oops. Okay, that's fine. That happens. I was literally just practicing sage just before this video, so I'm a bit... <laughs> yeah. Much better. <laughs> I was wondering why it looked different, but my brain wasn't computing it. There we go. Alright. Oh? Who else oh. Could be? Thancred. It could be Thancred. We must hurry. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, let's go back to... So I didn't realize to be voice acted all of a sudden. Oh, Ravana! That's not Thancred. Oh, okay. I remember now. Uh, Warrior of Darkness. This should be interesting because I, when I first played through, um, I didn't pay too much attention because I thought this was like an extra bit that was like not going to continue, <laughs> like the Warriors of Darkness stuff. So now we can actually know what's happening. <laughs> oh my god, his stuff is covered in blood. Oh. We're echoing together. This day, we reclaim the reins of history. This day, we rid ourselves of the Asians forever. Fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? 
We can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not! We saw Are them fighting in Asia. The savior of Eorzea. But if our enemies are also the Asians, then why are we? It's a wonder you didn't come sooner. What with the primal and all. Lost a step, have we? Okay. Okay. Have care. The ether moves strangely around him. It would seem we share a common enemy. Mayhap you would tell us who you are. Shall we show them? What are we being shown? Hey, hey what the heck? They just attack us? Oh my god. No way he just put flare on us. What the hell? Oh my god. You Geary? Oh! <gasps> Thank you! Oh my god! Oh, he looks, he looks so cool. <laughs> I love the outfit. <laughs> I don't know, I saw the kunai and thought immediately of Yugiri, but it makes sense. She gave him a look. Not very sporting of you to interrupt. But so be it. Mark well our faces, warrior of light. I feel Four underdressed. Are the warriors of darkness. <laughs> That's a good for cute Walkers beach a outfit. Path. And we shall meet again. Hmm. So if they are warriors of darkness, does that mean... They are with Zodiac, like the Asians, but then they were shown fighting Asians, and we, or maybe, I guess well, I guess we'll find out as we go. Warriors of darkness, really? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Cryo. <laughs> That's why I had skipped it originally. I was like, this is kind of cringe, but I guess we'll see. But also, Thancred. Oh my goodness. Thancred, are you all right? Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? Sounds good to me. Suffice it to say, our reunion was not at all as I pictured it. Waiting until the last instant to join the fray. <laughs> Tis plain you have not lost your appetite for the dramatic. 
my appetite for the dramatic. Have you forgotten the circumstances of our party? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Oh. Call her out. <laughs> Had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, I would have thanked you in advance. Thancred. Also, Thancred's voice sounds so different. I know that they change voice actors, but he's like almost completely different from. If nothing else, you might have warned me that oh. I would emerge from the live stream in the altogether. Whoa. <laughs> Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found and set about hunting for meat and hides. Oh my god. <laughs> Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. <laughs> Oh my god. So you were the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke. A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. <laughs> Happily, I was able to trade with the Vath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. <laughs> I knew that was something he would say. Ravana, and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. That was me. And thence did you conclude that were you to track the Primal's movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the Scions once more. Smart. It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods. Until now, that is. Yeah, weird. So why oh, were yes. they fighting the, the Primals? The warriors of darkness. Tis only fitting that they stand in opposition to the warrior of light, I suppose. Because wouldn't that be working against what they're hoping for? I glimpsed the leader's past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I oh, think. Oh, I saw it too. If these warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and Primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. Maybe an echo of darkness. Because he seemed to be looking... I don't know if he saw what we saw of him and his his memory, or if he saw something of us. Which is crazy, I wonder what he would have seen. Oh! Switching to... Blessed with the power of Echo and driven to put down Primals despite his declaration that they walk a different path. I struggle to see how their goals conflict with ours. That's what I'm saying, Alphano. Nor is that the only oddity. I find it passing strange that such exceptional individuals should have wholly escaped our notice until now. Surely we would have heard rumors and attempted to recruit them to our cause. Oh, that is so true. How long have they been around? I recall no such adventures, and I would not soon forget their like. Nor would any of us, I think. Yeah. One of our primary duties was to scour the city-states for promising candidates, which is how Thancred found Mona. All right, Enolda. Ah, uh, the memories. It seems like only yesterday that you slew your first primal. <laughs> Speaking of which, I had a distinct impression that it was not the first time that a band of merry men and women had killed a god. Yeah, they've definitely done it before. I labor to believe that a band of preternaturally gifted adventurers has been traveling the land, slaying primals without our knowledge. Would imply that gross negligence on our part. Mm -hmm. Speculation will avail us not. There is far too much we do not know. For the present, we must needs concentrate on what we do know, namely that Lord Ravana is no more. But Ophir must be informed. The news may render, render her more perceptive to Sir Emmerich's invitation. Since you seem to have affairs here well in hand, I shall take my leave. Simply being in the vicinity of this colony is giving me a stinking headache. Valid, Kryle. If you have need of me, I shall be with Master Matoya. I would beg her assistance with the search for Menphilia. Alright, Menphilia. Wait, Menphilia is missing? I thought she escaped with Mona. I shall explain on the road. Much has happened in your absence. Oh yeah, Dankred. He's not going to be happy about this. 
it's been a mess since the end of our home report. <laughs> the Scion. We've been struggling to keep it together. Although we're slowly getting back to it. We don't need ah, okay, back um da -da 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 -da. Oh, my my chocobo's gone. I guess we'll get on my guard's armor. I don't know if this is faster or not, but Just going up the spiral staircase makes me a little dizzy, so... Since we can fly, why not use it? I had not thought to see thee again so soon, mortal. If thou seekest the knight, know that she hath long since departed for Ishgard. My thanks, Udofnir, but it was not for her that we came. We bring good tidings for you and yours. Lord Ravana, who had been summoned by the Nath, has again been laid low. Truly, once more you mortals have succeeded where mine own kind did not did fail. You have our deepest thanks. Would that we could take credit. The god fell by another's hand. Another? Revelation upon revelation. Regardless, it is cause for celebration. The Nath will have no choice but to withdraw. But to another matter, I have tidings for thee as well. Regarding the Ishgardian's invitation? As promised, I brought the matter to my sire. Hearken to his answer now. For a thousand years I have mourned my beloved, who gave her life to forge a peace thy king betrayed. Such was my lot, until a child of Ishgard came unto me. For want of warmth, she wrapped herself in a dream. Yet the world will remember her deeds. For truth she fought, for justice she sinned. For redemption, she sacrificed and became as light. Let's talk about, I think, um, yeah, Isile. Uh, to follow one's heart, to have faith in one's convictions, be it for weal or be it for woe, such is the folly and the glory of man and of dragon. He hath entrusted the choice to us, and we have made it. We will keep faith with you who walk in the light. Then you accept Sir Emmerich's invitation. Let, let it be known that I, Vidofnir, should journey unto Ishgard on behalf of my people. <gasps> nice. We are honored to receive your answer, and I will convey your words to our allies without delay. Okay, we should say bye to her first. It is happening, Isa. Would that you were here to see it. Yeah. Oh, man. We lost so many people in Heaven's Word. <laughs> I'm still devastated over Ashifant. Even as the Scion celebrated the return of a long lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. Oh my god. Honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero but a scheming patricide. Honorable men, who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Mm. Honorable men, whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame, and who sang as it burned. I, are, I know he's gonna be okay, but how... What's the armor for? <laughs> Let him protect him. But Sir Emmerich, he's, he's too cool to die like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Let's head back to Ishgard. Oh my god, I'm gonna... <laughs> my beach outfit for Ishgard. Maybe we can change. I don't know if I have any... Any good... 
wintry looking outfits. I'm gonna wear this. The, what we started off with in the very beginning. I've been wanting to wear this crazy thing. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It had a crazy hat too, but I just could not. I could not make myself do that. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Um, will this hat match it? Like if I do this, I look like a. I look. <laughs> I don't know how, else, how to say actually. I just look um I look interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Why not? We'll switch back to our beach outfit after. Let's see. We'll stand like this. <laughs> At least we're in our winter look. Um, the hat for this looked like a freaking demigorgon head, and I was like, I don't think so. I would rather not. I got these outfits from our, uh, the raids. <laughs> the Crystal Tower raids. Uh, right. Let us not keep Sir Emmerich waiting. Sounds good. Are you quite well, thank Red. Yes, quite well. Forgive me. You've given me rather a lot to digest. The whole affair with the Ishgardians and the Dravanians and our friends nowhere to be found. It would seem there's no end to our troubles. Yeah. We can but face them head on, one at a time. For now, we must apply ourselves to our allotted tasks and leave the, leave the others to theirs. Remember, Thancred, we found you as they found me. In time, we will find Ida, Papalima, and Ophelia as well. Yeah. These troubles will soon be but a memory, one which we will look back on together. Pray do not misunderstand. I did not mean to imply that it would be otherwise. I merely wish I had rejoined our grand adventure in one of its more triumphal moments. Despite your recent accomplishment, the mood here is less than celebratory. True. But I have no doubt that we will enjoy many more glorious victories soon. Enough. Uh, soon enough. And you may rest assured that I will play my part in them to the very hilt. Sounds good to me. I know you will. So, so then, to the congregation. Alright, let's go see Sir Emmerich. Although he did just get stabbed, so I hope it won't be... We'll be able to see him soon, sooner rather than later. Hello, Fremelbert. Good, sir. <laughs> this outfit. <laughs> oh, Hilda. I didn't even notice her over there. Hello. You've returned. In this, at least, the fates are kind. Greetings, First Commander. It pleases me to inform you that Vidofnir has accepted Sir Emmerich's invitation. She has? These are glad tidings indeed. Would that the Lord Commander were here to hear them. Ah, is he otherwise engaged? Aye, sleeping off a knife to the gut. What? What happened? Will he live? The Chirurgian... I don't know how to say this word. Chirurgians tell me that he will make a full recovery. But had Lord Edmund and Lord R. Tyrell had not been on hand when the assassin struck, he would not have been so fortunate. For a mercy, they subdued the fiend before he could land the telling blow. The attack was just the beginning, though. Not long after, buildings all around the city, including several of ours, burst into flames. Bastros caught us completely by surprise. We've been dousing the fires, but for every one we put out, it seems like two more start up. Casualties are mountain, especially in the broom. Tis plain these fires were started by the assassins' conspirators. Until they have been rounded up, there will be no end to this. Will you help us find them? Let Then let us be about it. Oh, 
Oh! Primal accessories. Okay, okay. Although I, I did just buy like a full Ildeshire set from the Splendors vendor. The flames are spreading. We must needs begin our investigations immediately. Witnesses must be found. Suspects must be identified. Have you been able to determine the pre precise locations where the fires were set? Mayhap there's a pattern. If there is, we have yet to discern it. Fires have been reported throughout the city in both the pillars and foundation. Indeed, given the size of the area affected, I think it best to divide our forces, Master Alfano and Master Mistress Yishtola. I would have you take charge of the investigation and foundation. As you wish. Mayhap Tataru can be of assistance as well. Me, Mona, and me get the pillars. Oh, they'll like me up there. Only question is, will the grizzled old rogue strike and oppose over there be joining us? <laughs> Thank her of the signs of the seventh dawns, and may I say what a pleasure it is to meet you too, my lady. I'll bet. The name's Hilda, a scion, eh? And here I was thinking I'd find a fellow ruffian among all these illustrious persons. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will remain here to coordinate the fire quenching effort. If you learn aught of value, pray inform me immediately. That is all. I know that everyone's not gonna be like, gonna like being called a ruffian. <laughs> he wants to be a refined man. While well, we could begin by sifting through the chart, through charred rubble and questioning random passerby, in my experience, every town has at least one individual who can be counted on to know things he or she should not. Oh, I, the infamous Lord Emmanuel de, de Fortin, lover of women and wine, though neither care for him that much. <laughs> they say he could gossip for Ishgard. Just the son of the fellow I had, I had in mind. Capital suggestion, Mona. Thanks. He'll be at the Crozier, more like, making an effort to be seen. So let's go and see him. <laughs> oh my god, Emmanuel. The crystals I will accept, but... Old. Oh no, Thangrid. How old is Thangrid? He gives me like late 30s vibes, honestly. Maybe early. F well, early 40s feels like it's pushing it too much, consider the age of the Scions. So, I don't know. Um, also, this outfit I cannot take seriously. <laughs> Cisco for this. Oh, we can even put the little hat on. Um, let's see. Do I have the hat somewhere here? Uh, it's like a cap. Oh, I want to wear this, but we still can't because our gear is not. Oh, this is cute actually. Our gear is not high enough level. There. It's kind of wintry. Except for our legs being completely uncovered, but that's okay. It's okay to freeze a little for fashion. Maybe when we get to Stormblood we can use- we can have the beach Mona. Cause it's summer! <laughs> being in Ishgard, it's always winter, but it is summer here in real life. All right, I'm out of lane. This guy. Well, well, if it isn't Mona, dearest of all my friends. At least he didn't call me old girl. You're looking rather glum. Oh! Something the matter, old girl. That makes me so much. It sounds like he's talking to a dog when he calls me that. Uh, yes, the arsons. Dreadful business, that. An awfully curious, wouldn't you say? There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it at all. Uh, naturally, we've doubled the guard outside the manor, along with most of the other houses. Can't have the old pile going up in flames, after all. Oh, in case you're wondering why the hoplon is awash with refugees, the lower levels of the vault have been opened to those unfortunate souls who've lost their homes. Sir Emmerich's orders, from what I hear. 
Re remarkable man. Not even a knife in the ribs can stop him from his duties. Actually, old girl, if you were thinking of questioning the refugees, I should be more than happy to accompany you to the Hoplon. While you conduct your inquiries, I could offer words of comfort to the distressed and despondent young maidens. Oh, Madeleine, they do not want to talk to you. Wait a moment. I know what this is. You're giving me one of your looks, aren't you? You do mean me an injustice, old girl. I will have you know my heart yearns for one, but, one, uh, but one rose, prickly though she may be. I sense you remain unconvinced. Very well. If it will help you prove the purity of my intentions, I shall gracefully rescind my offer. Now run along and catch those arsonists. That was not uh, that was not entirely what I had hoped for. Whose idea was it to come here again? Shh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Never mind. For our next step, I suggest we divide our efforts. While you question the refugees in the Hoplin, Mona, I shall investigate the locations where the fires were set. Would you be so good as to join me, Hilda? You know what? I reckon I would. Can't have you roaming about in the unfamiliar city by your lonesome, can we? You'd only get robbed blind and left shivering in your small clothes. <laughs> oh, thank grid. Hilda is something. I really like her. She's cool. Alright, is that the Hoplin? What's the Hoplin? I guess up here. Go to the last vigil. Oh, actually, it might be better to go to the tribunal. And we'll start like that. Okay. Up these stairs. Yeah, this is a good idea. Okay. Mile. Miley. There was a man with a satchel. I saw him kneeling outside the window, and then there was smoke everywhere, and it was too hot, and I couldn't breathe. I don't remember how I made it out. I suppose I must have climbed. Maybe my arms are is maybe my arm is getting better after all. Hmm. Volt priest. Oh, cutscene. This guy looks evil. Anytime I see this, like, darkness around the eyes, it's like, a um, was it, King Thornton? His eyes are also like that. Come, my brothers and sisters, there is food and shelter enough for all in the Basilica. He could just be a nice man who's just tired. Hello, nice blessing blessings be upon you, Father. I confess we were not sure if we should come. There are so many unbelievable tales these days. How about, about the Archbishop and Sir Emmerich and the Dravanians? Trust in your heart, brother, and pay no heed to the lies of lesser men. They seek only to lead astray. Do you require succor as well, miss? So the temple knights have begun their investigation at last. Good. This madness has gone on far too long. Would that I could do something to aid you in your search, but I have a duty to these poor souls. Farewell, and may the fury guide your steps. Hmm. He didn't want to offer us any help at all. Unruffled refugee. Ours was one of the first homes to be claimed, but I didn't see how the fire began. It was only when I heard our neighbors shouting that I looked outside and saw the flames. We barely escaped with the clothes on our backs, were it not for the church's generosity. I don't know what we'd do. Hmm. Rendezvous with Thacred? Okay. Let's get to drink some water real quick. So this is future Mona. I accidentally muted myself <laughs> while I was taking a sip of water. So <laughs> I am dubbing over <laughs> my uh, uh, reading all this. <laughs> uh, but over here, I realized that I could just jump down. <laughs> 
probably jump down. But I'm gonna read. <laughs> ah, there you are. Anything to share? Hmm. <laughs> we will require more than the muddled testimony of a traumatized girl if we are to identify the culprits. While you were questioning the refugees, we inspected the scenes of several of the fires, including one near St. Raymond's Cathedral, another near the Tribunal. For our mercy, neither structure suffered significant damage. I was saying here that it's interesting that the, the, the Cathedral and the Tribunal both are okay. Some might say they were spared <clears throat> by the grace of the fury. Others might question how such ruthlessly efficient arsonists contrived to fail so miserably on the two occasions when their target was a bastion of Ishgardian orthodoxy. And it's definitely on purpose. That's how I felt about that. <laughs> There's no way that they didn't set everything on fire. Nothing conclusive, of course, but it does give one cause to wonder. Alphano will doubtless be... Oop, missed what I was saying. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot <laughs> to unmute those like the final like what is this like 10 minutes I swear typical Mona behavior I have no clue what I might have been saying right there. Oh, right. I was saying that uh, they're probably down this area in the corner. Because I feel like all the quest stuff happens down here. And I was right. And they caught some guy. Silence will avail you not, sir. Ah, Mona, I was just about to summon you. As you can see, we have detained a suspect. We found this man loitering near the remains of one of the stricken buildings. According to eyewitnesses, he was also present before the fires broke out. We wished to have words. He did not, so we insisted. Let me go, damn it. You've got the wrong man. Sniff, sniff, but you reek- My, but you reek of oil, and are those burns on your hands? An occupational hazard, I suppose. But tell me, does arson pay well? I'm a victim, you imbecile. Look at me. Aye, that you are, after a fashion. You should know that your pious patron has already spun us a delightful yarn about how his pet mongrel slipped the leash and set about burning half the city to the ground. Not very noble of him, grant you, but the, then these highborn types really do show loyalty to their pets. In fact, he called you a rabbit and begged us to put you down. Damn. That's bollocks. He's the one who told me to keep going. Even a sinner such as me could find salvation in the Fury's work, he said. I had left it behind, tried to with all my heart, said my prayers every day like a good man, but he came to me. He came to me. And there you have it, Hilda. Would you be so kind as to escort our friend here to the congregation? Aye, so long as you don't mind if he's limping when he gets there. He was incredible. That was incredible, Dankard. But how did you know he would confess? Well, I've seen his like before. Troubled soul, manipulated by men of power, and wielded as a weapon. I could not be certain, of course, but given the stakes, I thought it worth the risk. And if our captive had called your bluff? Must we entertain hypotheticals? The world is as if as it is as vexing enough. That's true. Thank you. Dankard, whether by luck or judgment, we have at last confirmed that these arsons were orchestrated by a person or persons of influence. I think it best that we now return to the congregation and discuss how best to proceed. 
That was really smart of Thancred. He used a bit of a... a bit of a bluff and it worked. Anyone would talk if they were being... if they found out that the person they're trying to defend is ratting them out, honestly. And over here I was saying hi to Fremelbert. Hi, Fremelbert. On behalf of the Holy See of Ishgard, I thank you all. The man you apprehended is being interrogated as we speak. Though he fell up silent upon realizing that we had not turned in his master, he will soon tell us what he knows, one way or another. Pardon the intrusion, First Commander. Uh, Lord Arturwell came here to see your father. He is attending Sir Emmerich in his chambers at present. I am. He bid me bring this all. Then do not let me detain you, and thank you for your kindness, my lord. In times of trouble, every man must do his part. Would that I could do more. I was saying that he seems a bit sad. Here. Or down, really. My lord Arturel did not seem to be in the best of spirits. And that was exactly what I was talking about. This little wonder, Master Alphano. His father is widely slandered and his half-brother not yet cold in the grave. Oh, Arshifon. <laughs> I'm still sad about Arshifon. I know I kept saying that, but I was so down when he died. And I first, when I first saw his death and I was like, oh my god. He didn't deserve to die like that. But anyway, I was just gonna end stream right here. Um, I think I was just opening up some of the accessories I just got and realized that this is not the accessories I need. This is for tanks or whatever. So I'm gonna have to turn them in for flame seals and excitedly wait for the healing ones next. We shall see. Um... But yeah, sorry about me muting, but this is very normal Mona behavior. This just happens all the time. I was saying here that I'm going to continue this next time, but it is what it is. Um, I'm kind of divided between just continuing from right here next time for the next Final Fantasy video that I'm recording, or if I'll just con like continue playing and then wherever I'm at next, ideally closer to the end of the patch quests, um, that's kind of where... I want to continue, but we'll see. You guys will know whenever I um, actually <laughs> record it and post it and you guys see it finally. <laughs> but yeah, sorry about the, the whole dubbing thing once again, but you know, it is what it is. If it's not scuffed, it's not Mona and all that, whatever. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are, and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Please enjoy me staring off into the void and talking in silence until... <laughs> Actually, you know, I'll just keep talking now <laughs> until, until Mona uh, passes by the closest. <laughs> there we go. That should be it. <laughs> Alright, bye everyone. <laughs>